hello and welcome to my science tutorials in today's video we are going to be talking about the higher derivatives of differentiation before we begin if you are new to my science tutorials kindly consider subscribing and pressing that notification button so that you don't miss any of our latest tutorials on biology chemistry mathematics and physics so let's begin so normally when we differentiate the function let's say the function y is equal to let's say 4x cubed plus what 2s squared if we differentiate this function we get what the y dx to be equal to what a certain function and that function is what we call what the first derivative derivative now what happens if we differentiate the first derivative now when we differentiate the first derivative we add what d dx to the function the first derivative which is what dy over dx and when we differentiate the first derivative we get a function we call d squared y ds squared and this is what we call the second derivative second derivative the same way if we differentiate the second derivative again which is what we apply the differentiation to the second derivative we get what d cube y ds cube and this is what we call the third derivative and it goes on so it means the further we can differentiate a function okay those functions we tend to call them what higher derivatives okay so if we differentiate just a normal function we get what the first derivative if we differentiate the first derivative we get what the second derivative which is what d square y over the s squared then if we differentiate the second derivative we get the third derivative which we are calling what d cube y over what d s cube as the third derivative now with this introduction let's look at an example and see how these uh, higher derivatives can be obtained so assuming we have assuming we have the function or the question we have to find the y over the s d squared y over what d s squared and d cube y over what d s cube so we have to find the first derivative second and then the third derivative when we have the function y is equal to 3x power 4 plus 2x power 3 plus 2 on s squared Alright, so let's go ahead and look at the solution for this problem. So, first of all, we need to find the first derivative. So, we have dy over dx will be what? d ds. That is, we are differentiating the first function, this function over here. So, it becomes what? 3x power 4 plus 2s cubed plus, let me rewrite this function in a more suitable way. So, it becomes what? 2x raised to the power negative 2 all right so our dy ds will be equal to what if we differentiate if we want to differentiate this it means we need to apply the what the ddx to each of the functions we have over here so we have ddx of the function 3x power 4 plus what ddx to the function 2x cubed plus what dds to the function 2x negative 2 all right so our dy dx now the 3 2 and 2 over here they are constant so we can bring them outside so we bring the 3 outside we have dds of the function x power 4 plus 2 dds of the function s cube plus what 2 ddx of the function x raised to the power negative 2 all right so when we do that we now get our dy ds to be equal to now if we differentiate x power 4 we get what 4s cubed so the 3 we, we still have that over here if we differentiate x power 4 we get what 4x cubed then plus the we still have this 2 over here if we differentiate s cubed we get what 3s squared then plus the 2 over here if we differentiate this we get what negative 2x 
negative 3 that is what we use the negative 2 to multiply the coefficient of x which is what just 1 over here then we subtract 1 from the power so our dy ds from here becomes what 12x cubed plus what 6x squared then minus 4x negative 3 so our dy ds becomes what 12x cubed plus 6x squared minus 4 on what x cubed as our first derivative for this particular example now let's find dy squared over what ds squared so if you want to find this let me do that on another page now let's find the second derivative so the second derivative is what d dx of the first differentiation which is what dy ds and that will give us what d square y over what ds cubed all right so our d square y over sorry this is ds squared our d square y over what ds squared is now equal to what d dx of the function that we have over here this function so we have 12 x cubed plus 6 s squared minus 4 x is the power negative 3 so our d square y over what ds squared is equal to what d dx of the function 12 s cube plus what d dx of the function 6 s squared minus what d dx of the function 4 x with the power what negative 3 all right so our d square y over what ds squared becomes what if we differentiate this we use the 3 to multiply the 12 so we get what 36 then we subtract 1 from the power so this becomes 36 s squared plus the 2 now multiply the 6 then we subtract 1 from the power so this becomes 12 x then plus sorry this is supposed to be negative so let me erase that all right so minus we have negative 3 over here, we multiply the 4 over here, so it becomes what? Negative 12 x raised to the power of what? This, we subtract 1 from here, so it becomes minus 4. Okay, so our d square y over what? ds squared becomes what? 36 s squared plus what? 12 x. Then this, we have negative negative over here, so it becomes plus what? 12 x with the power negative 4 so our final answer becomes what we have 36 s squared plus 12 x plus 12 on what x power 4 as our second derivative now let's go ahead and find the third derivative so to find the third derivative it means we, we need to differentiate what the second derivative so that is what d dx of what d square y over what ds squared and that will give us what d cube y over what dx cube so it means our d cube y over dx cube is equal to what d dx of what the second derivative which is what this function that we have over here so that becomes what 36 x squared plus 12 x plus 12 x with the power negative 4 so our d cube y dx cube becomes what d dx of the function 36 s squared plus d ds of what 12 x plus d dx of what 12 x with the power negative 4 so d cube y or the third derivative becomes what if we use the 2 to multiply 36 we get what 72 so 72 x we subtract 1 from the power so it, we are only left with x plus if we differentiate 12 x we get just what 12 then over here we have plus the negative 4 will multiply the 12 so 
we get what negative 48 so negative 48 x raised to the power we subtract minus 1 from negative 4 we get what negative 5 so it means our d cube y over what ds cube is what 72 x plus 12 minus 48 on what x raised to the power 5 as our third derivative for this particular example all right so example number two we have given that y is equal to x power 4 minus s cubed plus 4x minus 1 find what the second derivative that is d squared y over the s squared and state the set of values of x for which what the second derivative is equal to 0 so let's go ahead and find a solution for this problem so for us to be able to find the second derivative we need to find the first derivative before we differentiate it to get what the second derivative so we need to differentiate this function first so we have ddx dy ds is equal to what ddx of the function x power 4 minus s cubed plus 4x minus 1 so it means our dy dx becomes what d dx of what x power 4 plus d dx of what negative s cube the negative should have been here but since i use positive let me use the negative over here so plus d dx of what 4x plus d dx of what negative 1 so our first derivative becomes what if we differentiate x power 4 we get what 4s cube then minus we differentiate s cube we get what 3s squared then plus we differentiate 4s we get what the constant 4 then we differentiate the constant we get what 0 so this becomes what our first derivative or our dy dx now if we differentiate the first derivative that is d dx of what dy over ds we get a second derivative which is what d squared y over what ds squared so it means if we differentiate for us to uh, so it means our second derivative is what d dx of what 4s cubed minus 3s squared plus 4 so dy squared over what ds squared is equal to what if we differentiate 4s cubed we get what the 3 multiplies the 4 so we get 12x we subtract 1 from the power so we get squared then minus the 2 multiplies the 3 so we get 6x and then this is a constant so we differentiate a constant we get 0 so it's just plus 0 so our second derivative is actually equal to what 12x squared minus 6x but now the the second aspect of the question is telling us to what state the set of values of x for which the second derivative is equal to 0 so it means we need to equate this to what to 0 so all right so if we equate the second derivative to 0 we get what 12x squared minus 6x is equal to 0 so we can see that 6x is common over here so we bring 6x out so we get what 2 over here 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 so we can either have 6s to be equal to 0 or what 2x minus 1 to be equal to 0 so if that is the case we divide both sides by 6 over here so we get x to be 0 or 2x to be equal to we bring the negative 1 over here so we have positive 1 divide both sides by 2 so we get x to be equal to what half so it means the set of values that will make what our second derivative equal to 0 are s such that what s is equal to 0 or what positive half so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye bye